Welcome to another video. We have, I don't know if it's a logarithmic or a radical equation, but it's just a bunch of stuff or exponential equation because I got a radical here. And then I have an exponential equation, but it is a logarithm and the base is 1995. Well, this question is actually from 1995 AIME. That's the um, American Mathematics Invitational Examination. Yeah, so just an invitation of those who think they're smart and then they test them with this so they can make a selection of um, the team for whatever competitions they want to do. So this is not supposed to be a tough question, but it's supposed to separate the men from the boys. So now, what are you supposed to do? Find the last three digits of the product of the positive roots of this equation. So when you solve this equation, you're gonna get answers. Number one, all the answers that you get, all the positive ones, you then multiply them together, then you have to tell us what the last three digits have to be. You, you have to have an idea of what all of these will entail. But I think the hardest thing about this problem is knowing how to start. Because what would I do? I'm very likely, I'm going to move this guy here to join this guy. I don't know if that's the best thing to do or not. But that's what my instinct tells me, unless I pay a closer attention to what the problem is. Well, if you've been paying attention, let's get into the video. Like I said in the intro, my first inclination would be to move this here and combine these two and see if I can get a single exponent from here. But on a second look, I discover that this one is just not a number I can manipulate. And why is this guy here? You see, there's so many questions. Why is it here? It's 1995. You know, it's easier if you have this has a square and I can combine them. So I'm beginning to think maybe a log, a single log might do the magic. So I'm going to, I'm going to separate them first. So I'm going to take the logarithm of everything, this side and this side, and see what happens. Okay, so I'm going to say the log of the square root of 1995 x to the log base 1995 of x equals the log of x squared. Now, look, from the laws of logarithms, when you have a product, you can separate them into a sum. And I know that this becomes the log of the square root of 19 95 plus the log of x raised to power log base 1995 of x equals log oh wait i can choose to make the base 1995 instead of just putting log because here i'm putting arbitrary logs this could be log i can choose log one or log so not log one log two or log 10 or ln whatever log i want but because i'm i need to get rid of this exponent i might as well make this log base 1995. that's gonna make life easy okay so let me finish this log x squared so I can say log base 1995. I'm going to write this as 1995 raised to power one half plus. Ah, this is already confusing. <laughs> oh, it's going to be log base 1995 of x raised to power log base 1995 
of x equals log base 1995 of x squared. Okay, it looks like some things are going to resolve themselves just because of this madness that you see. This one half goes all the way here and log 1995 base 1995 is one. Don't forget those rules of logarithms. So I already got one half. Interesting, interesting. Plus, <sighs> log, no way. What is this? This looks weird. It is the same thing raised to power, the same thing. How do I take care of that? Does anybody know? Mm. This exponent is gonna come down here. It becomes log base 1995 of x, log base 1995 of x <laughs> equals 2 log base 1995 x. I hope you can see that. I think I didn't squeeze that in too much. Okay, let's rewrite, let's rewrite this here. So this is gonna be one half, that's how it is. So this is now a product. So I can say this is one half plus log base 1995 of x, everything squared is equal to two log base 1995 of x. This looks like a quadratic equation. If I make something represent log base 1995, so I can say this is, if I multiply everything by two, what do I get? I'm gonna get one plus, I'm gonna call this, let's do u squared equals two u, where u is equal to log base 1995 of x. No, if I multiply everything by two, this is, has to be two u squared, and this has to be four u, right? Yep. So if we make a quadratic out of this, we get two u squared minus four u plus one equals zero. Can this be solved? Can this be factored? Ta-da-da! No, this cannot be factored, cannot be factored. Okay, with, yeah, we can factor this, so we have to use the quadratic formula. So we know that u equals minus b, which is four, plus or minus the square root of b squared, that's gonna be 16, minus four ac, four ac is gonna be, is eight minus eight, over two a is gonna be four. So this gives us four plus or minus, 16 minus eight is eight, and the square root of eight is, 2 rad 2. It's going to be 2 rad 2 over 4. So it looks like there's 2 on top. We can, and this is going to be equal to 2 plus or minus square root of 2 over 2. I need to figure out what actually we're solving for. We're solving for not u, but x. So remember we made the substitution. So now I have two solutions. So Remember the definition of logarithm. Logarithm means the power to which the base must be raised to obtain the argument. So this means that, let's take the first one. Log base 1995 of x is equal to two plus the square root of two divided by two. What does this mean? This means if you want to find x, you need to raise this to this power. So this means that x, so x1, let's call this u1. Okay, that's u1. So x1 is going to be 1995 raised to power 2 plus the square root of 2 divided by 2. So log base 1995 
of x2 is going to be 2 minus the square root of 2 over 2. By the way, this is positive. 2 minus the square root of 2 is also positive because the square root of 2 is smaller than 2, right? 1.4142. So that also is positive. That tells us that x2 is 1995 raised to power 2 minus square root of 2 over 2. Okay, so we have both roots. Are they positive? Well, this is an exponential function, so I don't need to worry about this one. Now, we need to multiply these two together because those are the only two roots that we've found. I don't see any other solution here. If we multiply this by this, what do you think is gonna happen? So x1 times x2 is gonna be the product. So we're gonna say x1 times x2 will be equal to 1995 raised to the power this times this is gonna be the sum of these powers. So it's gonna be 1995 raised to power 2 plus square root of 2 over 2 plus 2 minus square root of 2 over 2. That's going to be equal to 1995 raised to power. If you, because the bases are the same, you can just add up the top. This will take this guy out. So you just have 4 over 2, which is 2. So it is the square of 1995. Now, this is a number theory problem. What would be the last three digits of 1995 squared? You can actually do it. 1995 times 1995, you get the last three digits, but I'm not interested in that. I wanna do it in a, an easier way. See, because you're looking for the last three digits, all they're saying is, if you divide the answer by 1000, what are you gonna get? The last three digits of 1995 squared is just going to be the square of 1995 mod 1000 squared. So what you do is you're going to say this is equal to equals 1995 mod 1000 squared. So what is 1995 mod 1000? Well, what would be the remainder if you divide 1995 by 1000? It's going to be 995. But 995 is the same thing as negative 5 mod 1000. You just count down. You know, it's like going around the, the circle when you're doing trig. Instead of you going this way, you go the negative way. So if you go the negative way, it's just going to be negative 5. And negative 5 it's going to be negative 5 mod 1000 squared. What is negative 5 squared? It's 25. Now, this may look crazy. You can as well just multiply this by itself. If we multiply 1995 by 1995, this is what the answer is going to be. So if you do the multiplication, maybe this is safer, but if you want to be fancy, you might just do the modular arithmetic, but this is what you get, the last three digits. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.